What's going on guys, it's Tom Nierkins. Today I'm going to bring you a brand new video talking about something that actually comes up pretty frequently for me. So first, let's just set the foundation for this commentary, okay? Uh, let's talk about McDonald's or Burger King or In-N-Out Burger or whatever fast food restaurant that you happen to visit the most. It's no secret that whatever they put in that meats or in those patties or in whatever you're eating, it's it's the worst shit you could possibly eat. It's, it's literally garbage. It is actual garbage. It's the worst shit for you. Wow, the first time I go to record a video in like a fucking week and there's a massive airplane just flying over like I haven't heard an airplane since like 1933 and I turn on the mic and fucking boom there's an airplane what the fuck so even though we know that what we're eating is absolute garbage we still eat it anyway on occasion right now some of us might eat it more than others but in general I'd say you know a lot of us tend to eat fast food less and less especially if you're younger uh, because we are very health conscious of the effects of these foods but that won't stop us Americans from eating it once in a while so when I go to McDonald's and we'll just use this as an example right and I'm looking at the uh, the board of different poisons that I can pick uh, to decide which way I want to speed up my death. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll get a McChicken and a McDouble uh, and on the McDouble I'll put some Mac sauce on that motherfucker because that's absolutely incredible and if you haven't done that just just do it. Just take my advice. It's a little extra but it's so worth it so just just do it okay just do it. So I usually get one of both and it's really cheap. It comes out to like four bucks or something like that or less or whatever and then I eat that and it's really fast. It's quick easy uh, and it tastes really good so that's usually what I get at McDonald's. But if you do some quick fucking math, you'll come to the conclusion that those two items, those two little things that you put in your body, right, that only fill you for like seven minutes is 750 calories and 34 grams of fat. That's more than half of the amount of fat you're supposed to eat in a day for those two little items that aren't even completely filling. But that's not gonna stop us Americans though. Needless to say, that's probably the worst shit that you could possibly eat for lunch. And now I know that there are worse things obviously, but for those two little things, that, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty dense poison. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a lot of shit in there for the little amount that you're eating. So normally when I go to these places, whether it's McDonald's or Taco Bell or wherever I'm going, right? I order what I'm gonna get and I get a diet soda. And I fucking love the look that I get either from the cashier or the person that I'm with or my fucking father. Seriously, my dad will look at me and be like, what are you on a diet? And then he'll laugh because it's obviously a joke and he doesn't mean it, but like he actually thought of it immediately. So he, it obviously must have triggered like some sort of thing like, oh, that's, that isn't smart to do that's that's dumb why would you get a diet soda at a fast food place now a lot of people might agree with that a lot of people might say that's completely contra contradictory why would you get a diet soda you're already at like the biggest house of poison in the entire fucking world you're eating the worst possible garbage that you could obviously eat uh and then you say oh but can i get a uh, diet coke as well please thank you yeah i'm trying to uh I'm trying to lose some weight i'd like a diet soda uh because uh i don't want the the regular soda and you know what I call bullshit dude I call bullshit I always get a diet soda or a water with my fast food and it is because of health reasons it's not that I prefer diet coke over coke it's not that I prefer water over coke well a lot of times I do because you know water is a fucking amazing but no here's why I actually get diet coke are you ready a medium coke is 220 calories now if i'm eating 750 ready right i'm already a gluttonous massive disgusting piece of shit and i already feel terrible about what i'm putting in my body but it's not gonna stop me i might as well get the healthier option for a drink i might as well get a diet soda or i might as well get a water uh to save those extra calories 220 calories is, is a lot uh just for the beverage that goes with my poison it's just a side of poison with the bigger portion of poison not to mention there's like a hundred thousand grams of sugar when you order a medium fucking soda so like I go for the diet because there's no sugar there's no calories there's no nothing so in so, so then I'm eating the 750 calories which like I said I already feel fucking awful about because it's disgusting but 750 is a lot better than 970 calories like that the, the slight difference in taste from the soda or just the lack of the soda with the water you know that's that is fine with me that's almost a thousand calories uh, just for that side of soda like that side of soda is nothing to me I don't give a fuck about the soda if it's gonna add 220 more calories simply choosing a diet coke over a regular coke saves me almost 25% more calories than if I went with the regular Coke. Like I said, it's 220 calories for a medium Coke. I'm probably gonna get a medium because I'm a fucking human and if you get a large, what the fuck? 
So you're saving almost 25% as far as caloric intake, plus you don't have the 400 million grams of sugar like I said is in regular Coke, and all you have to worry about with the diet is the increased like chance of cancer, which I mean, fuck that dude, everything is going to give you cancer these days, why not, let's just drink fucking Co Diet Coke dude, it's fine, it's fine, and plus, I'm sure regular Coke probably somehow gives you cancer too, like let's be honest, alright, that shit is the most processed garbage drink you can ever drink in, your, in the world, it tastes fucking amazing, but that's shit is definitely linked to at least diabetes if anything right so like that like you're you know you could say yeah it'll maybe cause cancer down the line but ultimately i'm gonna go with it dude i'm gonna go with it and if you don't want that just go with the water because the, dude i it's just it's mind-blowing that i even get the looks and comments that i do when i order all this shit right and then i go a diet drink and like they're they're on their little they're on their little touch screen like all right so that'll be one mcchicken and uh you know that'll be one mcdouble with the extra mac sauce and a the diet coke like fuck you dude don't look at me like that motherfucker you know you should know the same or better than i that that co that coke is saving me a ton of calories even though i'm already fucking killing myself with the point you, you understand my logic here you you understand where i'm coming from you know you, you get that i'm actually just trying to you know i'm already fucked okay i'm already fucked so might as well not fuck myself even more and a lot of people will have the attitude like oh well you're already eating garbage you just eat as much garbage as you want dude that is the dumbest logic that is the most american logic in the entire world like oh you're fucked already just fuck yourself as much as you want uh and start over tomorrow like thoughts and habits like that are the reason why we're so fucking fat because it's like ah fuck it i'll just balls to the wall eat shit today uh, and i'll fix it tomorrow and then tomorrow you wake up and you're like i could go for a mcgriddle you better get there before fucking 10 30 because their all day breakfast doesn't include the best fucking item on the menu <coughs> Just because I'm already killing myself doesn't mean I gotta go zero to 100 real fucking quick. You know what I'm saying? I can go to zero, zero to 75, chill there. That's a bet. That's better than going zero to 100. You know what I'm saying? So do yourself a favor, switch it to a diet coke or switch it to a water. That's even better. And if you're one of those guys who cracks the joke, like, huh, what do you want a diet? We're at McDonald's. Like, fuck off, dude. You should probably switch too. If you, you know, you know. You should probably switch. It's better for you too, uh, and you know it's a better idea. You're just, you know, you just you ordered first, uh, and you're pissed off that you didn't think of it, and now you feel like the fatter piece of shit. And you should because you made that piece of shit comment. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, uh, I would really, really love it if you could just drop a like on the video. That'd be awesome. Uh, if we can get to like one like, I would be super, super excited about that. And I just wanted to say that I've been super busy lately uh, with just work and school and trying to get school work done and have free time to actually do stuff that I want to do. So that's why you notice my uploads have not been very consistent. I've been trying to do it twice a week, and I think I have been successful since school started doing at least twice a week. Um, but they haven't been in perfect intervals. You know, it hasn't been Tuesday, Thursday, Tuesday, Thursday. You know, it has been like, you know, Monday here and Wednesday there and Tuesday here and Thursday there or wherever. Um, so I don't know when this is going to go up. But like I said, I am just doing my best. This is the best I can do is uploading uh, twice a week, kind of whenever I can get it done. So hopefully you guys understand that and you are totally okay with that. The other thing, too, is I'm kind of like in a creative stand still right now you know black ops 3 is fucking old as fuck and nobody wants to watch that shit uh and i don't feel like paying for another xbox live subscription to play the older call of duties plus i'm just kind of sick of call of duty right now and i really want modern warfare remastered so i'm kind of just like you know it's super late in the black ops 3 life cycle the new game hasn't come out yet so you know there's just not that much for content creators in my space you know call of duty specifically to do much um so you know hopefully you guys understand that also the less frequently that you up upload on YouTube, uh, the less likely you're going to be in search results and in the YouTube algorithm. So when I do upload, if you guys could just drop a thumbs up or support it in some way by leaving a comment or a criticism or whatever you want, that would really, really help me out. Uh, just because like I said, I, I probably can't do three videos a week working this schedule with my class schedule. It's just not going to happen. So um, if you guys could support the videos that I do put up uh, and show that you do appreciate me, you know, taking time out of my day to make these videos, they do take a few hours to film and record and um film and record are the same fucking thing but editing them and making thumbnails and you know doing all that stuff it does take a lot of time going off of that statement if you guys have any topics on any videos that you want me to cover drop them down in the comment section below or send them to me over on twitter as always you can find all of my social media links in the description below you can connect with me on there i usually follow people back and i always respond to uh mentions and dms and everything like that so if you guys haven't followed me anywhere in my description make sure you go do that and i'm thinking about uh considering taking 
gameplays from people if you have call of duty gameplays that are good uh, enough for you youtube i would say if they have to be like a 1.75 or more kd um or just a really entertaining match i'm considering using other people's gameplay so if you want to submit them to me um i would be you know open to potentially using them because that does save me the time of having to actually go out and get all the gameplays for my channel um i don't know if i will continue to if i will do this but if you guys want to just let me know on twitter if you're interested in doing that obviously if I do use your gameplay I'll link your Twitter or your YouTube or whatever in the description of the video that I use the the uh, gameplay for so if that's something that you're interested in make sure you contact me either in the comments below or on Twitter preferably on Twitter because it's easier for me to keep track of conversations and stuff uh, over on there and if you're new around here make sure you drop a subscription on my channel drop a sub I would really really appreciate that it really helps me out a ton uh, and I will be definitely doing advanced warfare and modern warfare remastered videos as soon as that shit drops because I pre-ordered that a long time ago. I'm super hyped and I really cannot wait uh, to see what Infinite Warfare is going to be like, but more importantly, Modern Warfare Remastered. And that's pretty much it, guys. So thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.